Okay, we have to explore this mine for Mr. Dokan. I'll help this brother out. Oh, we'll help you. Don't you remember? I no. Tell you about Jesus. Do you know where you will go when you die? Come back here. Let me evangelize you. Oh. Hell. Do you know what God did? Come back here. Let me evangelize you for guilty sinners. So they would not need to go to hell. Big Christian, we're evangelizing. This Sebastian, I'm friends with the devil. Sure. You are either for Christ or against him. Check out needgod.com for more info. Good day. Oh, that's really cool. So that's part of our, our mission, is that we have to tell people about Jesus. So... Whoever's watching, pray for a guy called Sebastian. Or a girl. A girl. No, no, Sarah, you don't know anything about World of Warcraft. If it's a guy, it is most likely a guy. If it's a girl, it's definitely a guy. Really? What? Why? That's what MMO stands for. Many men online role-playing as girls. Is this like an inside joke? I wish. Ooh. Really? I bet it's mother -loving. So do you know, based on the color of the, um, of the name, I think I'm so angered. <laughs> yeah, if it's blue. Then it's a real person. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're gonna kill Ellen spiders. Barnes. What's the name of the council? You know, Lord of the Rings? Elrond. Elrond? Is that the area as well? No, it's Rivendale. You're thinking of. Oh, right. Yeah, it's coming near down. <laughs> There's Sarah and Daddy Rivendale of the Elrond Council. Lord of the Rings. He's actually reading Lord of the Rings at the moment, so. It inspired the whole World of Warcraft franchise. What's a cow? <laughs> It is a cow. You like cows. Let's, let's pat, like the cow. pat the cow. Pat. Pat the it's cow. Really pat the cow. It's it's pat so the cow. cute. Comment if you also think cows look really cute. I think cows are cute. They're smelly, but they're cute. They also taste great to eat them. Well, they do. Yeah. So yeah, not many people know that Tolkien was close friends with C.S. Lewis, who was a evangelical Christian, Bible-believing Christian, and they worked very closely, sort of threw ideas past each other. I have suspicion that Lord of the Rings was influenced greatly by Pilgrim's Progress, and Pilgrim's Progress was influenced greatly by the Revelation, the or the Apocalypse, last book of the Bible. So all these themes, these tropes, have their deep roots within the, the biblical narrative, within the Bible. The whole idea of putting on armor and fighting a dragon is you can get these things from the, the scriptures, putting on the armor of God and the slaying uh, the dragon, the serpent of old. It's bad news. What's next? Dragons? Dragons? What? Ooh, dragons. Dragons. Ooh. Ding. We did level. level. We did do level dance. Leveled. Level dance. Level dance. This is also the Enoch dance. It is. Sun dances like this. Our sun dances like this. He gets really excited. He gets <laughs> That's how he dances. Hey dude, do you want this rugged trapper's vest? It stinks, like body odor. Ooh. How about some uh, spider hair? Huh? <laughs> can I part with you with that? Of course I can. Wasn't Lord of the Rings also based on Beowulf? Or it was. Influenced by Beowulf? Yes. It has dragons. That's very interesting. So, let's sit down and let's get to the fire and I'll tell you a story. <laughs> Thank you.